Well, the Almighty says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ يُتَوَفَّوْنَ مِنْكُمْ وَيَذَرُونَ أَزْوَاجًا يَتَرَبَّصْنَ بِأَنفُسِهِنَّ أَرْبَعَةَ أَشْهُرٍ وَعَشْرًا That is in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah stated that the idda for a widow, when she loses a husband, is four months and ten days. أَرْبَعَةَ أَشْهُرٍ وَعَشْرًا what does the word idda means? It's a waiting period. During this period, the widow is not allowed to leave the house where the husband and she will live in end. Unless, if it is necessary, going to the doctors, going to the school, if she needs to finish paperwork during the day, provided she end up uh, sleeping and spending the night in the same house, she's not allowed to move out or to go to live with any of her children or friends or parents. Out of respect to the husband, she must stay in this house for four months and ten days. As I said, except if there is a necessity. An elder woman doesn't have anyone to look after her, so somebody is offering to look after her, but I cannot move out. If she comes to live with the daughter because she's very old, she is disabled, she, is, uh, she cannot afford the maid, and no one is next to her, and she's very sick. All of, these are all valid excuses. But a woman who can take care of herself, and she can cook, and she can uh, take care of herself, is not allowed to move out of the house in which she and her husband were living before her husband died. For the entire idda, four months and ten days, nowhere in perfumes, kohl eyeliners, fancy clothes, or jewelry, because this is called idda. No proposals whatsoever. No one can ever propose to a woman who is in her idda, even if he's dying to marry her. Out of respect for the late husband. Thank you. <clears throat>